Let me, can I just say one thing? Honestly, man, this is the best group of leaders I've ever been around. I mean, it's like, that's why like, I'm, one, I'm one of these guys here. People have no idea how hard it is when you get 90 players and they all have an individual agenda, okay, and, and they're not have immediate gratification because we, that's the world we live in right now. And we did our ass kick the last two weeks. After going five out of seven on the road, I think there was five teams in the freaking country that went five of the first seven on the road. Okay? And to do what these guys did, I, I've never been prouder of a group of seniors. And I am right here. Okay? They, do, they came in. Okay? They're not only talented, all right? But to have the, 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 the fortitude to keep this shit right. Okay, and to beat a pretty good football team that lost in the last play of the game to NC State by a field goal. That's unbelievable. Okay? Never been more proud. We have never gotten more leadership. Better leadership in my in anywhere I've ever been than what I'm getting right now from this group. They practice hard, they 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 there's no clicks. And in in, in the what's in it for me culture today? Like, th this is like, it's unheard of. Every 22-year-old, what's in it for me, dog? What, what, what do I get? Let me get mine. I'm going to get mine. And the fact that these guys, they're warriors, man. I could I mean, these guys are unbelievable. Unbelievable. Is that minimized by that last drive, the way you even stood up with Yeah, it was everything. I mean, it was Bob getting the big, you know, Bob didn't have a great game, but he's not going to say he did. But, he, you know, he, he, he has that huge run to get us in that position. Each and, I mean, what, what was... What was that last drive? I think they had the, we had the ball when it was 645. Yeah, at the eight yard line. At the eight yard line, and they got the after the pick, what did they have? Minute 30? We're not we're not we're not scoring off. We ended up, I mean, I think we outgained them 350 to 330 or whatever it was, but we're just still gonna put the ball in the end zone. But we, we go out on a five-minute try. You know, and I mean I think it was epitomized by the defense. It was epitomized. And then you know what the other thing too, you know, this week, I mean, we lose Zako. You know, Zako's not there. We got a true freshman. We move her over to another position. We lose Jordan Sebastian, who is, is our third down back because he's a beast. He, he protects the hell out of the quarterback. We lose him to a broken foot on a Wednesday where if there's no contact. Like, there were so many built-in excuses against a pretty good team. You know, I mean, I, I couldn't be proud of these guys, man. I, I love these guys, man. I'm a senior group. For any of you guys on the defense, 333 rushing last week by UNH, 83 a day on 30 carries, less than three yards a carry. Just talk about the effort in the turnaround. I mean, uh, Coach already said, you know, Zaka was out. Uh, a lot of things behind the scenes, you know, talk about Zaka will make up for it. You know, he, he was huge. You know, we went out there and played hard for him. But like, as a team, you know, we felt like up front, we could have had a, we could have a good game. We needed to get after them. We, we put it on us. You know, it's three seniors right here on the front line. But as a whole, as a defense, we fought. And I mean, you can't ask for nothing more. What, what did you see from your defense today? Why were they so effective at stopping the just their zone read, stopping their passing? Well, I mean, I think, uh, I think at the end of the day, this is a group that has a ton of pride. And we went off and you know, we lay an egg and brown. And we get out coached, we get out played, okay? we get embarrassed. And we go up the following week against a team that we just don't match up well with. Who's coming, who's one and three, but really, you know, they'd be, they be going over today. Scored with 13 seconds on the win. So they were a much better team. They're 34 and 4 at home, I think, in the last you know, 38 games. We ran into a bit of a bus off against them. And, uh, you know, it's, just, it's, it's really, honestly, it's pride. And, and uh, these guys work me hard. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not using hyperbole when I say this. We, we have not had a bad week in practice yet. I mean, like, and I think as a staff, we're doing a good job of like being smart with how we practice and tempos and that. But, that's, I mean, that, that, the reason that that's happened is because you're working with great leadership. And, uh, I mean, we, not one time was it like, man, we gotta, we got to put the foot on the throttle or, you know, get them on the line to run. And, you know, it was, I think, pride and just preparation were the, were the big things. The special teams today, you block another kick, you force a fumble on a punt that gives you the ball inside the 15. Uh, great field position all day. Talk about that. Third yeah, I mean, Modi's got four blocks on the year. 
I mean, I think in two, two of our wins, he's got three. I mean, I mean, I mean, I'm not kidding when I say he might be a candidate for special teams player of the year at the end of the whole thing with four more games to go. Um, that was huge. And, and honestly, it was like, you know, I, I was, you know, we were coming off the city. It was like, it was such a great game to be a part of because it was like nobody was blinking for the longest time. You know, it was like, you know, we would have success. I mean, look, you know, neither offense was, I would say, paltry. I mean, it was, you had, you know, 338, 354. I mean, it's not like it's, you know, when you think of a game like that, you know, that, that you know, 12 to 10 and, and, and 11 innings, you're thinking like, oh my God, the offense. I mean, the teams were moving the ball. Was there a down the problem? Yeah, but, um, Uh, can you talk about that big play you had there to get the lead that it looked like you faked the jet sweep almost and kind of come back inside? Is that something you saw in tape that you can do against them? Uh, I, don't, I mean, we run it. It's not, it's not something new we've been running. And uh, we have a lot of plays off that jet sweep. It could be a pass. It could be a give to him. It could be me running or run to the running back. And I uh, <clears throat> had a AK was pulling on the play and uh, just tried to follow him. He made a great, he made a great block, and I just cut back off of that. Just had some room to run. Dylan was four for four today. Talk about his effort tying a school record. He was awesome. I mean, he's you know like all those guys, they're flaky as hell. You know, you, you kind of sometimes you know you don't you don't really treat them like a regular player. You know, but when you have a like, the dynamic with a kicker, oftentimes his silence is the best thing you can do with a kicker. Um, you know, and, uh, you know he, he's had a great year. You know, I mean. I was, I was happy for him. I mean, I think DePaulo was huge, too. I mean, who didn't give the special teams play? I mean, what did we have, three touchbacks? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, the was probably, he took it two, two yards in. I mean, both of those guys could have been uh, player, you know, if we were given a, a player of the game for special teams, both of those guys could have gotten it. Um, just a great game to be in mind. For the defensive guys, what do you think when you go back out in the field there to that last drive? I mean, uh, as a team, we know we got each other's back, so we, we thought we were going to go out there and win it no matter what. We had no denial. We got together as a group and said, one more stop wins the game. Once you got that in your sights, you're going to go get it. Can you talk about that drive that you personally had? I think they had three plays. You broke up two passes and tackled the tackle player. Can you talk about that? Um, uh, yeah, we, uh, we watched film the whole week as a D-line, as a defense, and we saw a couple weaknesses they had on the offensive line. So I just knew if I got after it today, it would help out the team. And that drive, I was just I was in the zone. For any, for any of you guys, what did you see on the last fumble? You didn't see it very well from the press box. The fumble that you guys well, it looked, it looked to me like Dre, Dre took it out of the kid's hand. It looked like, I think, uh, <coughs> Roddy did an unbelievable job of stripping it. Yeah. And it looked like, you know, uh, the guy who caught it ended up jumping on it. And, you know, and then kind of, and then Dre kind of, you know, uh, they were sharing it. I think Rodney Buck jumped on it. I think as he jumped on it, kind of, he kind of, you know, he shut the other kid away from it. You guys, what does it just mean to get a win to do this? Maybe. Just to walk out of here with another win, to win another home game in front of maybe your biggest crowd in a few years. Well, a win like this definitely speaks volumes because I mean, yeah, it wasn't it wasn't pretty, nowhere near pretty, but that pretty for the defense, though, wasn't it? Was I mean, good. yeah, offensively speaking, that's offensive awesome volume. Yeah, the defense had our back. I mean, even though you know Bob had threw it away on on the, one of those last drives, you know, I went right up to him and I was like, hey. Defense is going to get this stop. I know these guys. Are, I'm roommates with you know Shamari and Moody, and uh, that's what they always got our backs. You know, until offensively it didn't, look, uh, it didn't look too good, but a win like this, and that's for a team, and look, it speaks volumes. Because you know, I can't say if we were doing, we, we wouldn't do something like this last year. You know, we you know handle adversities. Our defense came up and played, and you know, I'm proud of these guys. I love these guys. Just to add, just to add on them. Uh, I mean, we gave up a, a field goal down, going down uh, ten nine. They came back down and scored a field goal too, you know what I mean? At the end of the day, when we got down, they had our backs too. So I feel like, I mean, even though it was 12-10, you can say our offense didn't play good, defense played well, whatever it is, we got the W. It's a great team winning, it just feels good. The coach says this stuff about you guys, the way, it's, you know, how much you mean. What does that mean to you guys that he's so devoted to you guys and that he's got your back? It means a lot. I think uh, we see it. I mean, he means what he says, and <laughs> I mean, we came in with him. I mean, we, we were in the group that was with him since day one. And the amount we've been through, uh, you know, a one in 10 season, an 0 and 11. I mean, we've been through everything possible at this school. And uh, 
he stuck with us. You know, we've stuck with him, and uh, it feels great to get get him a win too. It's just, just good for the program. Joe, I know you you get together after a game on Sunday. You watch the film, you know, the day before. How much of this week maybe was psychological? Just you were sort of rebounding from what happened on Saturday at UNH, getting through that film session, and then getting into another good week of practice. Well, the, the, probably the greatest benefit. I know these guys would much rather have Sunday off, you know, and sleep in and, and, and not really and have and practice Monday. But the best part about practice, not that we're out, we don't go out there for three hours. It's a modified practice, but it's more and more of a longer meetings, shorter practice. And we have to scrimmage with the young guys. But win or lose, you kind of want to get, you know, you, you want to, you don't want to sit on that for another 24 hours. I mean, I, you know, this guy. Like, when we were when we went up to Brown and lost up there, didn't play well. <clears throat> I mean, not, not one time have I ever felt like I got to challenge these guys. I got, I got to, you know, uh, uh, we got to, we got to come back and have a meeting in the locker room or go out full pads on Sunday because I mean, these guys are so weathered. And it's hard for my and I say every week after you know, a loss, most of the time after losses, you know, my people have no, no idea what these guys do. Their people have no idea what any of this go through, but yet they all have answers. You know, these guys. Well, I'm going to go out there today, and my wife and my friends and family. Ah, oh, this, you know, this year, why didn't we do that? They're going to go. The parents are going to do the same thing. But like the intimate, shared met, uh, mission of the of, of the team. You know, it's it's amazing. And I'm I'm, I'm speechless, man. I really am. Guys, how important is the build is to get another win next week to keep building? Because you've had some nice wins this year, but I guess the key is to add another win to this. Well, tonight, let me say this. Did you hear what I said when I said five of the first seven games? Yeah. I don't want to understate that. And one time, that is, this is the first time I've referenced that in front of players. Okay? That's not set up for success. I mean, so it's nice to have consecutive games at home. Build that, no question. Our goal, every, we tell them every, if we, every season, if we can win the home games and have a, have a 500 record on the road, we'll be where we want to be at the end of the day. Uh, Four game season, two of them are hard. Last one, Bill. No penalties in the second half. Was that a point of emphasis at halftime to clean it up a little bit? I think it's been, I mean, if you look at, I, I, although there's, I, we're exponentially better than we were a year ago, I think the thing that I'm proudest of is the Coaches, we, had, we went from probably we went from the most penalized team in the conference to one of the least penalized. I don't know where we stack after today, but you know, uh, I mean that, that's you know the key. Obviously, is you, you know, especially in this conference, you don't want to beat yourself. Okay, thank you. Thanks, Ashley.